I'm Technical Sergeant Justin Martin. I'm a Special Missions Aviator. I've been involved in probably over 400 rescue missions by now and 700 combat sorties, I think, total. And those range from different things. They were covering operations, providing helicopter support in the case of a downed aircraft, all the way down to pulling people off the battlefield. We're looking at an HH-60G rescue helicopter. It's kind of the Air Force's version of a souped-up Blackhawk, more advanced avionics. Today on the sides, we've got GAU 2C miniguns that'll fire at a rate of 2,000 or 4,000 rounds a minute. We traditionally provide CSAR, which is combat search and rescue of a downed pilot behind enemy lines. And we can pick up sailors, soldiers, Marines, airmen. We're there to help out the cause and kind of rescue people uh, from the battlefield. The training involved with rescue when your home station not deployed down range is pretty robust so we'll go out working on a gun line working through that kind of stuff we work on hoist we work on combat search and rescue scenario type work and a lot of the proficiency stuff just landing to an lz that's very dusty and hard to get into or hard to get out of so we work and we really try to teach that crew concept prior to getting ready to deploy we'll team up as a kind of a permanent crew with two pilots two special mission aviators and two pair of rescue men in the back and we'll start to work together and really get on the same page and know what the other person's thinking, their philosophies on the rescue mission. So when you do deploy down range, you're with those same people. You eat, breathe, sleep next to them for four or five months straight, uh, you become pretty tight. The thing I love most about rescue is the fact that I think it's the most noble mission out there. I get to work next to people that are brave. They're true heroes in my book every day. And it's rewarding. You get to go out and see the, the fruits of your labor when you bring back someone to the, from the battlefield that's been injured. You can bring them back safely and, and get them home to, to their family and their loved ones. It's a pretty cool thing.